We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Clone Wars Thursday throwback. Yeah, it did take last week off. It was a nice break. Nice to be back here again for another episode. And this is something I actually bought while I was away. It was an eBay win. <laughs> I got this for a very, very nice price of, of $30. Um, which for, you know, for these days is pretty damn good. And this is one I have never had before. Um, yeah, the Anakin there is a figure I bought loose only a few months ago. I did a little bit of an unboxing video and showed off a couple of loose figures that I won from an eBay seller. And this was one of them. Um, so I wasn't super thrilled with the condition of it. I knew I got it really cheap. It wasn't a big deal. I wasn't too fussed about it. Um, so I'm excited to have a brand new one in the packaging, as well as the cancel. So that's what we're looking at here. Big dragonfly. I honestly had, had forgotten when they appear. Um, it was in the Clone Wars movie. But yeah, it's nice to have... Really nice to have an older set like this. Which, you know, it doesn't feel old, but, you know, this is 2009. Um... Clone Wars, man, it's it's nostalgia now. <laughs> it's it's so good. It's on the back. Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano hitch a ride on a cancel to escape the villainous Asajj Ventress. The Jedi and his Padawan face their foe on the monastery's landing platform on Teth. Anakin leaps onto the giant dragonfly and saves Ahsoka and Rota. The heart just as spider droids destroy the platform and it hurtles to the ground far below. So a couple of other sets there. There's the Clone Trooper and Bark Speeder Bike. That's one I don't have. I do have the Clone Trooper Jesse and Speeder Bike, which is pretty much the same thing, just different paint. Um, I do have the Battle Droid and Armored Scout Tank, and I do have the Crab Droid. So this is cool, and like, I'm, I'm so excited to open this one up. Look at all that plastic. <laughs> Really, really thrilled. Yeah, the box is a little bit damaged. They did notice, notice, notify me that of that in the listing on eBay. Um, but yeah, you know, I was going to open it, so I don't really care. So it's uh, time to let this thing breathe. I'm very excited to be able to open this one up on camera for you guys. Very, very excited. You know, this is a little piece of Clone Wars action figure history. Well stated, that's why I'm doing this weekly series. It's it's one of my favourite lines of all time. And yeah, I, don't, I know there's a bit of a, a cardboard backdrop in there you could keep, but I've just ripped it, so I don't, I don't care. That's, that's just sort of rubbish packaging for me. It's not a big deal. I don't really care. Just making sure there's no extra little leaflets or anything. Alright, so we've got a... Uh, some assembly required. No tools needed. Attach wings as shown. I think I will. And that's it. all there is. So let's get Anakin out. So all the el little elastic bands have all, all dried and decayed. <laughs> the little elastic bands that used to tie the figures in. Um, let's see, there's one that one's stuck on his neck a little bit. This looks like he's got a clear little necklace on. Get that off of there. I'll give that a little bit better of a bit of clean up afterwards. But we'll take a look at Anakin. Yeah, this is like I said when I got the other one recently. is a little bit, a little bit worn for wear. But this is one I've wanted. There is a Obi one that has soft goods as well, um, which is one I'd love to add as well. Just it's got the added articulation. This one, uh, the space Anakin. Pretty much has the same articulation as this one. But uh, yeah, I don't think the sculpt's as nice on the head on that one as it is here. So that's, that to me is just straight out of the straight out of the cartoon. He's got the ankle articulation, he's got the knees. Not a lot of the Clone Wars figures early on had, you know, even knee articulation, let alone ankles. But this one does. He uh he looks great. Really does. So he's got his lightsaber there in hand. I just I love holding this thing straight out of the packaging, you know. 
feels feels as exciting as it did like back when I got the first sort of Clone Wars figures back in 2008 I reckon maybe 2009 when I got Anakin Skywalker on his own I got um, and then I got Anakin and Obi-Wan in their snow outfit but yeah love this love, love the soft goods you know obviously they made it that way to to fly on the beast but um, you know what I'm going to do just for the moment Put him on a stand. We'll run through all the articulation and stuff afterwards. Just want to get all this. Get Mr. Dragonfly here out of the packaging. There's a couple of wings. A couple more on the back there. Let's see if that can. Look at that rubber band. <laughs> get out of there, bug. So yeah, this guy was released again with Yoda, I believe. Let's just tilt the camera down so we can get a little good look. And he did come out in a in a pack later with Yoda for some reason. Yeah, it's got a wire in it, so that tail's got wire, so you can bend that and have it up and around. I love it. It looks great. It looks really cool. Now let's see these wings here. Just trying to decide which way they sit up. Because they've got like a raised thing. So I'd assume that would be on the top and that sort of smooth would be underneath. So I'm just gonna go Try it, see where it looks like it should sit. Another one for the back. And then we have the other two. I'm just trying to work out where they're actually different. No, they're, they're pretty much the same. Slight difference in the end there. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess. So that one goes on the back. It probably doesn't matter. There we go. Now I'm not sure whether they're meant to be movable or anything or whether they're just plugged in that way for for decoration, I don't know if they're meant to... Oh, they kind of click and move up and down a little bit. And you kind of pivot them up. I'm really not wanting to uh, damage it at all right now. <laughs> there looks to be a little bit of extra plastic just in that hole there. Stopping that one from moving up. So that will flick that one up. There we go. So yeah, they will sort of clip up. I'm actually going to... This seems I've got my little trusty knife here. I'm going to try and shimmy out that little bit of plastic there. Perhaps not. I think I got it. Let's see if I can get it to click up. Perfect, look at that. Yeah. This is cool, man. I love I love this thing. He's so cool. <laughs> this is something I've had my you know, I've had my eyes on for a very long time. This guy. The head moves. The legs move, sort of pivot back and forth just so you can make sure you get all six legs standing there. A little bit of that rubber band there. Looks like that tail sort of just attached on there like that just so you can flex, flex the tail around and have it in a sort of a neutral spot there. That's wild. 
I miss I miss Hasbro doing stuff like this. You know, just the wacky, wild, wonderful world of Star Wars, basically. Look at his eyes. He is just a big dragonfly. <laughs> Sorry, Anakin. Yeah, that's that's freaking cool. So yeah, we'll we'll take a nice close look at Anakin now. Get up, get up close and personal. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. What you, I don't know what you guys think. That's to me. That's straight out of the series. Honestly, you know that that head sculpt. That's yeah. You know, that's like I said. That's why I love Clone Wars figures. They were just so much like the on-screen interpretations. Yeah, he's got the uh, the ball drawn on the head. That sort of annoying rubber band, which is a little bit sticky. I'm going to have to... Maybe... Oh, no, I think I've got it. Yeah, I think I do. That's cool. It's good. A little bit, it's a little bit sticky, this sort of broken down, semi-broken down rubber from nearly two decades ago. Uh, yeah, he's got the ball joints in the shoulders, ball joints in the elbows. He's a swivel in the top of the glove. Same with this hand, no wrist articulation. A swivel at the waist. We spoke earlier, swivels at the top of the hips. Hinge in the knee and ball hinge in the ankle as well. So yeah, so obviously giving him soft goods so you can have him riding this dude. I don't know whether you meant to make him hold, hold the ears. I don't know whether they count as steering wheels. <laughs> it's like a steering column. Let's have a look at the box. No, he's kind of just sitting on there, free will. The way they've sort of posed him on the box looks a little bit... Let's get this picture in there. Yeah, I don't know whether that's sort of like... It almost looks too big for it there. That, that looks like it might be a bit of a Photoshop job. Where they've put the put the figure onto the onto that because this one this looks a lot better the way I've got him sitting there like that it doesn't look too big at all give Anakin his lightsaber you can have him sort of strolling into battle on this thing but yeah he sits on there really nicely you can even sort of pivot those knees in a little bit just so his legs sort of straddle the neck of the thing a little bit better now we can fly him around the house <laughs> Expect a TikTok video of that. Oh man, I'm so stoked with this thing. This is great. Really, really thrilled with this one. This is sort of satisfying my hunger for some filling some gaps in my Clone Wars collection. Anakin Skywalker and Can't Sell. Really, really nice piece. Can track one of these down do it please <laughs> it's such a nice such a nice figure and beast sort of pack uh, Anakin figures really really nice that could be the best one from at least that sort of season one to two iteration of Anakin I'm gonna say that this is probably my favorite version it's really good Yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts, folks. Have you got this one? Is this one you've uh, ever had in your collection? <laughs> I don't know if I need to have him holding on to that, but it kind of looks cool that he's using his his head as a steering steering wheel. Got to have a little bit of grip somehow. So I'm looking forward to going and popping him on the shelf. That's for sure. Really, really cool. All right, folks, thank you for joining me for this sort of unboxing first episode back after a little break it was very nice um yeah hoping to do more of these as well like getting some new stuff new old stuff fresh in the box opening it on screen having fun with it getting these first reactions from new toys that you know something I've, i haven't had in the past 16 years is a long time ago i was a mere 20 when this came out and that's uh making me feel quite old and crusty now that's 
I know, I'm still young, 36 ain't bad, but I'd love to be in my early 20s again, enjoying the, uh, the fruits of youth. <laughs> but um, yeah, appreciate you all watching, guys. It, it does. It, it's, it just makes this opening toys and sharing, sharing my passion for this stuff even more fun than it already is. So thank you for hanging around. Please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week for another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwbacks. We'll see you then. May the Force be with you, always.